This pan-seared salmon with a lemon garlic sauce is a really easy dinner option for any beginner starting out. I'll also teach you how to make a really easy roasted asparagus, which is a perfect side for the salmon recipe. And you can even cook it as your salmon is cooking, making it a super easy meal you can make in 15 minutes or so. I've got about a pound of salmon. This Faroe Island salmon's pretty good. It's a little fatty, but extra tasty because of it probably. I've got all this asparagus. I'll probably use about half of it or so. I've got a few garlic cloves, which I'm gonna slice a little thin. I've also got half a lemon, which I already zested, which was kind of hard to zest when it's cut in half already, but it's left over from my garlic chicken recipe I made the other day. I've got the, the ends of fresh parsley, but it's plenty for what we need. Salt and pepper. I've got olive oil in the background, as always. I've got my pan heating up already, and I've also got my little toaster oven heating up. I set it to 375, that's gonna be for the asparagus which it's important to pick a good side option for whatever you're cooking, obviously, but especially if you're using two different cooking methods. So I'm using the stovetop, the pan for the salmon, obviously, pan seared, and I'm gonna use the little toaster oven for my asparagus so I can cook them at the same time. A big part of cooking is cooking efficiency, time management. If you're cooking uh, two different dishes simultaneously, you're saving a ton of time. You can do this dish in I don't know, 10, 10, 15 minutes or so basically, and you've got a full dinner. Before anything, we're gonna season up our salmon, both sides with salt and pepper. Season it first so that seasoning can seep in a little. Honestly, I probably should have seasoned this maybe 30 minutes ago, but it's okay. Make sure you season both sides too. I'll never forget my senior chief yelled at me one time for only seasoning one side of the chicken and called me out on it, rightfully so. Make sure it, if it's a big piece of salmon, especially, hit, hit everywhere, you know? More seasoning, the better. We're gonna pan fry this garlic, so don't slice it too thin because we don't want it to get crispy in the pan if we can help it. Our asparagus, we're gonna wash like you wash all of your veggies. I'm only gonna use about half of these though. A little trick too. See these little rubber bands, they come in handy around the kitchen all the time. Yeah, we're only gonna use half of these. It's just my wife and I eating this. Pat your asparagus dry after you rinse it off too. It'll help with the, the roasting of it because we don't really want to steam the asparagus. We want to get a nice roast on it, especially at 375. And we're gonna chop off the ends of these. Basically the part, sometimes they just fall off on their own like this one did. Line the asparagus up on the pan, hit them with a little olive oil, and when you hit them with it, toss it up nicely so it's very well coated. So hit them with some salt and pepper. Very simple. If you have more lemon, I only have half, so I can't, but you can even spritz a little lemon on here and that will make it even better. But super simple, olive oil, salt, pepper, roast them at 375. These are kind of thin, so they'll probably take about, I don't know, between eight and 12 minutes, depending on how crispy you want them. I'll probably start out at eight minutes and see how it goes after. I've kind of got the last bits of parsley here, so I'm gonna be using stems, which is completely fine. A lot of people throw out the stems. I don't know why, they taste, they taste good. Maybe not as good as the leaves, but most of what you're cooking, you'll be fine using some stems here and there. We're gonna set aside most of it, but keep some for a garnish. I've gotta keep a little more for the garnish because I gotta to try to make a nice thumbnail for you guys to click into, hopefully. Once your pan's hot enough, add a nice healthy amount of olive oil. We love olive oil. Now we're gonna put our salmon down, skin side. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was nice. Now see how it starts shrinking a bit already? We're gonna turn the heat down just a little. You know, a good reason why you put down uh, whatever protein you're cooking in the oil away from you is due to what just happened there. I had a little too much oil in the pan, so it splattered everywhere, but it splattered in that direction instead of towards me, burning my, my precious hands. So remember, away from you. The protein goes away from you into the oil. We're gonna cook the salmon skin side down for about, this one's pretty thick, so about four or five minutes. 
by the time four or five minutes goes by, about maybe 70% or so of the salmon will be cooked through. And then we're going to flip it to get a nice little sear on the top, and that'll finish it. For this dish, it's important to have your mise en place all ready to go. For this dish, it's important to have your mise en place all ready to go over here, right? We've got our chopped parsley, our zested lemon, our half lemon ready to juice, our garlic, our butter, more olive oil if we need, salt and pepper. I've also got the asparagus going already. As you can see, it's been about maybe a minute and a half or so. It's already starting to cook up from the bottom a little bit. By time we're at about four or five minutes or so, it should be cooked up a bit more, and that's cooking through the mid part. This is a really big juicy part right here, so we might go we might go five or six minutes. We'll see how the skin's looking. All right, since it's so thick, we're gonna go an extra minute or two. But you can see it's starting to get nice and cooked from the bottom. That's the nice part about these stainless steel pans. They transfer heat really well. Oh yeah, it's looking nice already. I'm gonna go a little longer. As you can see, it's starting to get puffed up here. Unfortunately, the salmon's so thin on this side and so thick up here, it's gonna cook a little wonky, but it's okay. Now we're at about six minutes here, so we're gonna give it a flip. I'm gonna use a spatula and a set of tongs because I can. See that nice crispy skin right there? Beautiful. We're gonna cook it on this side for another few minutes since it's such a giant fucking piece of salmon. It's only been about a minute or so, but I wanna show you what it's starting to look like already. See that nice golden brown it's turning already? It's getting nice and crispy. I wanna keep it going a little longer so it really cooks through that. Now, I've gotta show you the important piece here. See, obviously it's not cooked through in the middle yet because I picked the most lopsided salmon ever. So I'm gonna give it another couple minutes. Important thing is use your thermometer, okay? Right now it's about, I think I just tempted at 85 degrees. Another couple minutes at this high of heat in this oil will be good to go. We wanna bring our fish up to about 115, 120 or so, let it carry on up to 135. Quick trick also to hit a side like this one is right now, how raw looking it is, turn it on the side a little bit. I'll heat that bad boy right up. If I just tempt it in the middle and we're sitting about 120-ish, so we're already overcooked it a tiny bit. Sometimes these bigger pieces, they can be a little stubborn, but don't worry about it. Just throw it on the side. It's not that complicated. We're going to set it aside on a, on a pan right now. Ooh, that looks beautiful right there. Check that out. Mm, looks delightful. That's not even the end of it right now. Now it's time for one of the more fun parts. It's nice and hot still. We're gonna get our garlic in here. We wanna make sure to not burn our garlic. Even though I have a tendency to make mine a little extra crispy. But if you do it too much, it's gonna get a little bit bitter. We're gonna throw in our lemon zest. We're going to throw in the juice of our lemon. We're going to throw in some butter. See right there, it's almost a little too hot. We're just going to remove it from the heat. Simple as that. Now we're going to add in some butter. Lower the heat a little more and turn into a bit of a brown butter sauce, which is going to be delicious. We're going to hit it with a little salt and pepper. And with our parsley. Let it cook down a little bit, turn off the heat completely. Oh man, it smells amazing in here. We're gonna let that lemon juice, the butter, 
and the fresh herbs do their job cooking together a little bit, marrying flavors. This little garlic sauce is looking really nice and smells amazing. As long as you don't burn it, it's pretty hard to mess it up. Like I said, as long as you got your mise en place ready to go and you do this quick, you should be alright. Our asparagus is done just in time for the salmon to be done as well. Looks pretty nice right there. It's nice and, and kind of dark green still, which is good. It means we didn't overcook it. Uh, maybe a couple pieces overcooked like these little guys, but we should be pretty good. As long as they can hold their shape a little, they're really hot. That's good. That'll mean that it'll have a nice kind of an al dente bite to it, basically. You're going to spoon over the lemon garlic sauce on top of the salmon. It's going to drip off it, pooling up on the plate, which is going to be the perfect spot to place our asparagus on. So that asparagus can really soak it up as well. It's freaking, I mean, it's delicious. So also, before I forget, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps my YouTube channel grow and subscribe to my channel. I also totally forgot to film me uh, ripping it apart to show you the inside until I started eating it. So I also sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on the asparagus I had left over, which is a fun thing to do as well.